Hello everyone and welcome back. So, today we're going to be continuing our adventure in the Twilight Forest. And, my, our Ender Lily really is growing quickly. Hopefully it will have Ender Pearl soon. Oh, wait a minute, there was one other thing I wanted to do. Yeah. I cashed in some of those blocks of gold we found a couple episodes back. Uh, yeah, another torch. Uh, that's enough torches. Let's make some baked potato! See, when you, have, when you have equivalent exchange, it becomes a lot easier to source food when you don't feel like cooking and harvesting for those long times. Okay, so I think we have more than enough food and provisions. Let us move onwards. We head hard. Yeah. Now, about the effects of my Manulium sword, uh, it has a trade-off. I hit harder, but... I hit harder when I'm at full health. But, if I don't have full health, it becomes an extreme burden. And it constantly saps my energy. So, it's probably a good idea for me to... Okay, yeah, let's just teleport to the Lich Castle. Because we've already killed the Lich, so there's nothing for us to worry about. This is a great wood tree. Why is there a great wood tree from Thomcraft in Twilight Forest? This makes no sense. Oh, and then there's the dragon over here. Let's uh, let's not get involved with him right now. Um, hmm. This is the top of the forest, the dark forest. I'd like to be able to break these leaves because they make very good uh, light blockers, but uh, not necessary for my purposes, though. Ooh. Ooh, what's this? It looks like, and I don't want to jinx us here, but it looks like some kind of mass made out of... What is this? What, what, what am I looking at here? <gasps> that is a very big dragon. Holy crap. You know what, let's just, um... Let's, let's, let's just make a note of that. We'll find a way to kill it later. Because I am not touching that with a 35-foot pole. <laughs> no. No, sir. I am, I am not touching that. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, don't tell me this dragon's after me. Thankfully, dragons are in all the realms, so that's just great. Yeah, just <laughs> dragons everywhere. Damn it. Hmm. Maybe we'll find the uh, Minotaur's lair next. Because they have a very nice food that I would absolutely love to have. Uh, for killing the Minoshroom boss. And then he's also got his axe. Which, another really cool item that I just would love to have. And plus our bow is getting a little dingy. Hmm. Let's look around. Hmm. Not much in sight. This would probably be one of those times when Charlie 
starts putting in some extra nonsensical music. Courtesy of Kevin McLeod, everyone loves Incompetech. Yeah, I think there's some kind of spawner beneath these. But yeah, that was a true learning experience right there, because that dragon will know, we now know not to be touching that dragon anytime soon. <laughs> Ow, shit lag. Perhaps there's a spawner located. Hi. What did we? Oh, that's copper. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. You know, it's so nice for the mod creator to provide us with such delicious free range venison. No. No. Yes, delicious free-range raw venison. I should probably consider taking back some of these to the overworld once I'm done here. <laughs> Boring audioless time. Lagging. Okay. Yeah, see, this dragon armor is pretty good. It's not perfect, but it is pretty good. You know, this is weird, because I'm not really seeing some of the dungeons that I'm used to seeing. Hmm. I hope we can find a fire swamp soon, because I would really like to be able to kill the Hydra next, which I know is very hard to do, because it requires pinpoint precision and aiming for the face. I think I just found my wish. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, this is the edge of a... Fire swan... Uh, no. No, it isn't. I'm not exactly sure what this is. But... Looks very interesting. Let's go inside, take a look around, shall we? What are these? Hmm, doesn't tell me what they are. What 
is this? Trollstein. That's very interesting, but the issue is, if this is supposed to be a troll lair, where is our troll? I see no troll here. I would very much like to kill some of these trolls, in fact. They seem quite interesting. Quite an interesting fellow, if you don't mind my saying. Perhaps he's up here on top? I mean, it is technically nighttime here, even though the Twilight Forest is rather bright all the time. Perhaps it has a different cave that it likes to hang out in. Hmm. Apparently it really likes the area. Couldn't be down here, could it? What the hell is that? Couldn't be a troll. Got it? Have a heart. Shit. Yeah, okay, this place is terrible. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what the hell to make of it, but uh, what I know is I want out, and I don't like being trapped in a cave. And uh, notice I said cave and not labyrinth. I can handle labyrinths very easily. Matter of fact, that's what I was hoping for us to find. But caves, on the other hand, are irrational, branching, and generally make an make no sense. By the way, I'm hoping we can find a very rare and valuable kind of pick in these uh, in the maze called Maze Breaker. Maze Breaker picks are very, very nice. not want to go in there. That that place is terrible. Yeah, look at all these just 
Damn. Mm. I mean, good thing we can fly. Could you imagine how terrible it would be to pass through here without, uh, you know, proper materials? Let's see. Oh, we're underneath the floating castle. Yeah, I don't want to go up there, though, because that's, like, end-tier bosses and shit. Things that insta instantly kill me. You know. So let's move away from all that. Yeah, I want to kill the Hydra next. But anyway, this seems to be a good point to wrap it up for right now. I will see you all next time.